yo 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 what up everybody it's your boy julie jules and we are back with another video it's a little different we are going to be watching the hazard zone trailer and then we're going to be giving our thoughts on the trailer and our thoughts on what we think hazard zone is going to be like and what we think it should be like so i'm not even going to be talking for long we're just going to get straight into the video but make sure you let me know down below your thoughts on hazard zone and uh what you were hoping it to be or or just what you what you think about how they're uh delivering it and how it's going to be all right so make sure you hit that like button if you if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that sub button if you want to see more content and uh battlefield 2042 is going to be on this channel a lot we're going to be grinding out on that game maybe not on hazard zone but we are going to check it out but uh yeah i just want to see what everybody thinks about hazard zone i was hoping for a br that doesn't mean that they're not going to have a br down the road but i'm hoping for a br but hazard zone i thought would be perfect for a br but uh i'll let you know all my thoughts in the video thank you for watching like i said hit that like button it definitely helps the channel out and hit that sub button if you want to see more content i'll see you on the video peace here we go let's watch it together All right, so um, look, they make the trailer look amazing. All right, they make the trailer look amazing, and uh, that's cool, you know. But everything that I've heard or read about it, thirty-two players, um. And then you got AI on the map as well. Like, I don't want to play against AI. I just don't. Like, if I wanted to play against AI, I would go play some role-playing shooter game where, like, Back for Blood or whatever it is. Like, I would go play one of those games or I would go play a campaign game if I wanted to play against AI. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I don't feel like... Like, am I curious about it? I'm a little curious. Like, will I try it? Yes, I'm going to try it. And, um, like, I'm not sure if you could take Hazard Zone and put it into Portal and then design it how you want to design it. Because if you can do that, then there might be a possibility of, like, making your own type of battle royale. Because, Hazard Zone is not a battle royale any way, shape, or form. Like, it reminds me of uh, Scavengers, which Scavengers died after 
like a week okay scavengers died after a week and a lot of people are comparing it to hunt showdown and escape from tarkov those are two games that i have never played but i have watched content on and to me it is it is extremely boring to watch so if i'm if i if it's boring for me to watch it i don't know if i can play it now battlefield is one of my all-time favorite um titles so hopefully or franchises or whatever i don't know if if they can do something with this game mode to make me want to play it in my opinion i think that battlefield not having a better rail and i don't we don't know if they're gonna have one in the future but i think it's a big l a big l for them not to have a better rail i they're gonna lose out on a lot of money and i feel like i feel like every company is trying to make their version of a better rail or or make a extreme dynamic to the battle royale scene when you don't need that all you need is a battle royale like PUBG with a great engine and mechanics and great gunplay and there is a success right there like you don't have to be putting all these other dynamics into a battle royale you don't have to go up like you don't have to raise the bar all the way up here all you have to do is make a BR that works on a great engine and have good mechanics like that's all you need and great gunplay that's all you need to be successful and i feel like these companies are just going way way up above and beyond when they don't need to do it and um i think that that game mode will be irrelevant after i'd say like three months i think unless there's something that we don't know about it and we don't find out until we actually play it i think that is gonna die within two to three months just that game mode i'm not talking about battlefield 2042 the game i'm talking about that game mode hazard zone within battlefield 2042 i feel like it'll die within two to three months now 32 players on a map is not enough to really keep things interesting in my opinion now when i think of battlefield and i think of a like making things real dope and making something if you, if you want to make your little spin on a battle rail and not really make it a battle rail because most people think that warzone is not really a battle rail right because it's got the loadouts and everything like that but if you want to do your own bat battle rail type thing dynamic with battlefield then just do conquests into a better rail you know what i'm saying so like maybe have like four or five capture points in a closing circle and you have to oh my god this dog is yeah no get, get your butt out of here uh you have to capture you have to capture points as well as kill kill teams you know what i'm saying so like and then every time that the zone closes like another capture point will pop up over here so then you have to rush over there and capture the point and then uh whoever at the end of the game has the most capture points and kills the last squad wins the game or you could just have whoever's got the most capture points that way there's always action because you have to go to a next point to win the game you have to capture as many points as possible so you're not only getting more kills but it's more action involved and you like you can't camp because you have to go if you camp you're not capturing a point which therefore you're not going to be have a chance at winning the game you know what i'm saying like that would be dope if battlefield wanted to make bring their dynamic into a battle royale scene but this whole the like the hazard zone thing i don't i don't see it being i don't see it being any good i really i don't know i i, I think it'll die within two to three months that's my that's my opinion that's my opinion <clears throat> scavenger
scavengers too i mean it looks like it the gunfights are intense in hunt showdown i mean they might be but i still don't feel like I don't feel like there's enough of it, Joel, from what I've seen. Exactly, Rancor. Eight teams is not enough. Kyle Big, what up, man? I hope you're doing well today, bro. I hope your cousin is doing well as also. And uh still praying for you, bro. I understand that, Joel. You got to tell me your opinion, man. What you think about it? Y'all in the chat, let me know what you think about the uh the game mode hazard zone and if you think it's gonna die quickly if you if it's something that you're gonna play or if you um think it's just something that you'll play here and there and that's it now as well as like i think they're gonna get people to play it because they're gonna have certain things that you can unlock maybe skins or guns or something that, that like that that you unlock from playing it because Otherwise, I don't think anybody's going to play it. But if they have something to grind towards, then I think they'll play it. But um, I, I, if they don't have anything like that, I doubt it'll be something that I'll play. But I'll, I'll try to, I'll try it out when it releases, and and then I'll give my opinion again. <laughs> 